How do, how do the two kind of go together for you? In more ways than one. So I think the first way it would be the fact that you have to keep at it to follow through to get to the goal. So whether it was training to run a marathon without injury, which means you actually have to run a lot before the actual marathon, um, being consistent with showing up. Yes, you can skip a day or so, but if you skip more than half the training days, chances are you're not going to be really good on the run. And the other way, it actually tied in in 2021, I think, uh, TCS, the, uh, the sponsor of New York City Marathon, actually sponsored me to run the New York City Marathon. Oh, wow. Yes, I got paid to run, which was like, oh, my God, I'm not a fast runner, by the way. I, I think most people can walk faster than my running, and no joke. <laughs> like, I, uh, if you look over here, you probably won't see it, but that's like a plaque that they sent me. Mm -hmm. It says, my fastest marathon time is four hours and 51 minutes. Most people I know who run marathons, they're like sad if they don't make it in three hours. Okay. I was happy oh to make goodness. it under five. So I would never go for speed. I, I always liked the longer distance, the avoid injury and have fun along the way on my high five, high fiving all the little kids along the way and stopping to make little videos. 